the second annual Lakeview Lutheran Talent Show. It's uh, two hours of, uh, of talent that I'm sure you won't forget anytime soon. <laughs> My name is Dave Haslo. I am a lifelong member of Lakeview Lutheran. Well, kind of. Mostly seems like that just because Dean's been here for the entire time, but we have been members since 2003. Um, and we, there are a couple of rules for this talent show. The first one is this is a fundraiser for the youth for the mission trip, so we want you to give them lots of money. We don't want you to be here with any of your own money. Give it all, give it all to the kids. They, uh, this is pretty much the all the money that they spend on this is made through fundraisers and they essentially only need money then out of their own pocket for meals and they don't back from what I understand. So, um, so the first rule is give them lots of money. The second rule is my role here as the MC is to segue through this as smoothly and evenly as possible. Okay? That means if you guys want to participate a little, that will help. Okay? So if you get to a point that you have an act, it's a good time to clap. Okay? Applause is good. If I'm talking and there's kind of a pregnant pause and you don't know what just happened, just go ahead and laugh. Because it's probably just something that's trying to be funny. So we're going to laugh and see okay? Um, I want to make sure you guys know what to do. I have been a lifelong Wisconsin fan and a lifelong Green Bay Packer fan. Woo! You guys are familiar with that team? I think there was some sort of Super Bowl they won, I guess. Um, and I also understand that there may be some Chicago Bear fans in the audience. Yeah. So, um, now, I was trying to figure out the whole Bears Soldier Field issue prior to the NFC Championship game because the field was in terrible shape and there was a lot of to do about well, what if people get hurt because it's in bad shape and you know, the Bears don't take care of it or the Bears are supposed to take care of it because who's, who's a Bear fan here? <laughs> who's, who owns Soldier Field? The Bears don't own Soldier Field. The, the Parks District on Soldier Field? Is that the case? It really didn't look like it because after the NFC Championship game, I thought the Packers owned Soldier Field. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long way to go, but we won the Super Bowl, so when I say we, I, I gave all I could. We have some great acts tonight. Um, we have Cassie Olson, we have Marlene Hardick, who we learned last year is a talking dog. I'm not sure what he's going to do or she's going to do this year. Um, and Dana Dalton, some really great acts. This will be a good time to applaud. There you go. Okay, we're catching on. Same way. We're going to keep going back. We're going to learn how to do this. I, uh, I learned, well, I grew up in, in central Wisconsin and uh, was a member of one of the 800 Trinity Lutheran churches in Wisconsin. <laughs> and I heard about this other community next to Loyal. I, I, not my community, but down the road a ways. It's a beautiful Sunday morning uh, in the summer, and people were waking up and doing their thing and going to church, and the church was filled up, and it was going to be a beautiful day. It's about ready for church to start. The church is jam-packed, and poof, Satan appears at the altar. And everyone is scared. Maybe I'll just skip that one. <laughs> so anyway, um, Satan's there. Everyone's running out. They're getting out. They're trampling each other, scared to death. One faithful old fellow remains in the front. In the front, probably arrived late because um, this is a Lutheran church. Mm -hmm. And he's in the front, Satan is there, and Satan says to him, don't you know who I am? I'm evil incarnate. Aren't you afraid of me? And the old guy says, nope. What? Don't you know what I can do? Why aren't you afraid of me? The old guy, faithful old man, says, I've been married to your sister for 25 years. <laughs> thing and then we'll move on. Last year I told the story about my folks who are getting up there in age. They're in great shape, but you know they're 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 no spring chickens anymore. So uh, they take their uh, physicals and their trips to the doctor a little more seriously. My mother was telling me about a recent trip that my father had. Um, she was in the doctor's office with my dad and uh, not really paying attention, doing crossword Sudoku or reading or well she probably just fell asleep, but whatever the case is, she wasn't paying much attention. And then my uh, 
father is talking, and she hears him say, well, I don't really know what this has to do with anything. And then, and then goes on to talk about a nuclear power plant in the hometown, and making no sense to my mother. And he says, well, uh, you know, Homer's a big guy, and he drinks a lot of beer. March has tall blue hair, and smart, it's always naughty, and Lisa's really smart, and maybe he's still sucking up the pacifier. And the doctor leans forward and says, no, Gordy, I asked about the symptoms. <laughs> Tonight is Cassie Olson, who, come on up, Cassie. And she will be doing a clarinet solo entitled The Notebook. is the Lakeview Choir doing two separate, or perhaps it's just one, I'm not sure, but it's uh, Grandma's Feather Bed and Rock Around the Clock. It is two apparently. It is two. Depends if we do well. Thank you. 